Train yourself for godliness, for bodily training is of some value, but godliness has value in every way. Every athlete exercises self-control. They beat their bodies into submission, making it their slave. By doing this, they hope to win the prize. The prize that perishes. It does not last. We should also do the same. But we do not exercise self-control for a crown that decays. We beat our bodies into submission for a crown that does not perish. Runners do not run without the goal of winning. Boxers do not box without the intention of knocking out their opponent. If our prize is so much greater than a crown that wastes away, why is our training regiment so slack? We should be consumed with training for godliness. Be diligent with managing our time, not being lazy with our time with the Lord. Why leave out prayer when that is our most powerful tool to defeat our opponent? Pray all the time. We are unable to do anything on our own. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. Pray and train for godliness, for we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight against our sinful desires and the devil himself. We run that we may win the prize. We train that we may beat down and knock out our sinful desires. We do not give in to the devil. So exercise self-control and become obsessed with winning as an athlete obsesses over the prize he may win. We will win a prize much greater than the cheers of friends and family. We win brothers and sisters in Christ in eternity with our Savior.